I don't believe any of you really know what this means. Happy, sad. How many feel like you do know what that means? Because there's some contrast there, right? But anybody who has their hand up, explain to me the difference between sad, angry, frustrated, confused, ticked off, pissed off, and not just going to talk to you. Is there any difference? Really? See, I don't think people like us understand feelings. In fact, how many of you have been told for most of your life, you don't feel right? I get a little ticked off talking about it, right? You're too intense, not in intense enough. How many of you have heard crap like, share your feelings more, <laughs> right? Or, or the number one most get a punch in the face comment from anybody who's an EPT, tell me how you're feeling. <laughs> ah! <laughs> How many of you have been in, that, in front of that poster? Like, they use it in the U.S. I don't know if it's international, but it's the poster that says, how are you feeling today? And it has, like, 24 faces on it. It's, like, four across, and it goes down. You know what I'm talking about? It says, like, frustrated, confused, all that. I was nine years old, sitting in school. They put me in front of that poster. They said, Alex, how are you feeling today? It was always a guessing game for me. <laughs> right? It was like process of elimination. I would look at the thing and go, okay, well, like, I remember one time saying out loud, well, my mouth can't make half of those shapes. Like, how do you do this? Right? And I got in trouble for being smart. <laughs> I was totally serious. I don't get it. I really don't get it. Watch. How many of you have had your frustration confused for anger? How many of you have expressed confusion and had people get mad at you? How many of you have tried to tell people how you're feeling and had them in respond in a way that there's no way you're telling anybody how you're feeling again? <laughs> right? You know why? Because this whole language doesn't work for us. We don't care. The reason we don't like small talk is because we really don't understand it. We don't understand all of those feelings when somebody says, let's talk about all this crap, right? <laughs> it's painful. Because you know what? Chances are you go to a dinner party, someone's going to say, how are you feeling? Right? And ever since I paid $175 for a therapist to ask me that once, <laughs> I never wanted to hear it again. <laughs> Because here's who we are. We're different. I know you're trying to figure out who the heck I am. <laughs> I spent my early career as a consultant, like not where you lose your job and change your LinkedIn profile to consultant. I really was a consultant. Because <laughs> these days I say consultant, people roll their eyes. It sucks. <laughs> I worked with Fortune 500, Fortune 100 companies. I sat alongside some of the most successful people in the world. I watched four or five friends of mine go from humble means to being billionaires. I realized we're not wired the same way than the rest of the world, and I became a really successful consultant because I understood that this is who we are. We are momentum-based beings. How many of you get a physical charge off the word momentum? Right? Because you know why? Our whole lives, people have said, hey, be happy, be excited, be, you know, enthused, come with me. You know what we want to do was go forward, <laughs> right? That's it. I don't need all that other stuff.